four, 360 yards, dog leg right over water with me. In these videos, I honestly just talk about everything that's going through my mind on the shot, how I play the hole. It may not be the right way, it may not be the way that you will do it, but it works for me. So if you could take something from it, great. The first thing I do before I get to any hole, even if I've played it before, is laser everything. I laser pretty much everything in sight. What I'm first gonna laser here is that duck to cover the water, which is actually only 160, and then to that back bunker on the right, 263. I know that my driver covers 200 to 210. I'm definitely gonna be going over that duck, and I'm gonna be going a little bit right of him, just a tiny bit, not too much. You don't wanna ever bring in the water into play. And I gotta be careful on the shot, because I wanna hit a cut on this shot, but it's into the wind, and if I hit too much of a cut, I could probably not make it. I'm going to start the ball at like the middle of that right bunker and have it end up towards the right edge of that bunker. So not a huge cut, just something that gets me out there and a little bit closer to this hole. So it's not a longer hole, it's just not a short hole. So you want to have a good approach shot in. For me, like when I have the driver in my hand, my goal is just to get what is the shortest club I can get in my hands on the next shot. So I try and hit it as hard as I can. Not where I swing out of my shoes and I lose my swing, but to the point where I feel confident with that swing and I know I'm going to have a, a shorter club in the bag. Oh, it stayed straight. A little bit. It's cutting a little bit at the end, actually. Oh, okay. You know, it's fine. I gave myself room for error. The good thing about that shot is that I gave myself room for error. I did pull it a tiny bit and it tried to cut over, but because I put myself in a good position where I knew I could miss left or right a little bit, I was totally fine and I'm still in the fairway. I'm not probably gonna have the shortest club in the bag on that approach shot, but I'm safe, not in the bunkers, not in the water. I think I said it at like the LPGA Tour video where I played from the LPGA Tour tees at Tiburon that at this time, usually when I'm filming a video, a YouTube video, I'm editing a reel for 6.30 post and it's 5.45. And like I said in that video, I'm either super early that day or super late. <laughs> I feel like what started the idea for this series is that I get a lot of comments and it's really easy to, you know, comment back to a lot of people on the actual video. But this is a good way for my followers and non-followers who are getting to know me and want to like ask some questions about why I do things. Um, this is a good way for me to actually answer you guys and like give my real answer because it's hard to fit everything in like a small little text box. If you have any questions and stuff like that, these are the videos to ask them in because I will answer as many as I can. I'm not avoiding your questions when you ask certain things. I just, I want to tell my story in the time that's right through the YouTube, through Instagram to explain to you guys like why I do certain things and what are my future plans? Why am I into social media? Things like that. So if you have any questions, honestly, this is the video to ask it on. Lasering the flag 150, 165 to the back and 141 to the front. Something that I see a lot of people do, they don't laser the front of the green and the back of the green. And Personally, for me, that's a big thing because I need to know depth-wise where there's room on the green, you know? Is there room left? Is there room right? Is there room short of the pin? In the back of the pin, because that helps me pick my club. I want to know if I've got room in the back of the pin so I can go a little bit long. So for example, this pin is 150. It's 141 to the front of the green, 165 to the back. With this shot, I know that I have a pretty good amount of space on both sides. So there's a little bit more space on the back and it's a little bit uphill towards the back of the green. So I'm gonna go a little bit up a club. I'm gonna play this about 155. I'm hit my seven iron. Because it's playing 155, I'm gonna go more towards the pin and really kind of X out that left side only as like a safety landing point because the wind is going right to left. So if it does pull a little bit, I'm safe left, but I'm really gonna go at the pin because I, I got the club to get there, hopefully. <laughs> Get up. Sit down. I had room on the back, and as it was rolling and it came off pretty hot on the 
ground, but it kind of stopped because I knew that there was that little bit of a hill there and I'm better to be long than short on this hole because there's water in the front. So going at that pin was a good way for, even though I pulled it a tiny bit, like the slightest bit, and it was a little bit low because not every shot's perfect, but I did that and I still had room on the left. I knew I gave myself room there and I knew that there was a little bit of a backstop. A lot of people have been asking like, why social media? Why do you pick social media? Why are you not on tour? You seem like a great golfer. Are you pl planning to play on the LPGA tour? What about college golf? I've been playing competitive golf since I was five years old. Always played competitive golf, love golf. And I really enjoy making golf as fun as possible for me and for the people that I'm playing with. That's always been what I do. Um, a lot of girls my age, a lot of players are trying to grind it out to make the tour. Um, and I'm, that's not something that I'm not doing either. I still practice a lot. I still want to play college golf. Um, but for me, I started out just like doing trick shots on the golf course during in between practices because I would just want to break up my practice and try different things. I just like to do both. I like to keep golf fun. A lot of people have this stereotype with golf where it's like boring or something and just not fun and boring people play golf and that's just not true. I have always made it a point for me to make golf fun for everybody and for people that are like, oh, is golf boring? July 1st, 2022, I decided, I made a promise to myself, I'm gonna post every single day on social media. I'm gonna do whatever it is golf related and things about me, what I like to do. So golf workout, golf tutorials, tips and stuff like that. And I made that promise to myself to post every single day and I've pretty much kept to it. Um, and it's done really, really well. So I did that because I want to show people like me, my life as a golfer. And it's not just golf. I don't just do golf. People that may have never even looked at golf or touched a golf club. I want them to see what's golf about and why should I get into it based off of this girl I see on social media. I also know that there's a ton of people who want to get their kids into golf. Like I got into golf when I was five years old. That's a big motivation of mine to get young girls, young boys into golf and to make it fun. That's what I want to do. There are people like, why are you using social media for golf? Well, that's it. <laughs> so long downhill putt. The number one thing I think is like, get it close. Like that's it. And it's not that you don't want to make it. That's a great mentality to have too, but you don't want to risk this putt. You don't want to be long because it just goes right off after the hole. And it's really about getting the first putt close. So you know, you have an easy tap in for your second putt and trying to make it. That's great too. Get it close. And if it goes in, it goes in. I mean, if you saw that putt, it's still going. That's how downhill that was. I thought that that was actually gonna be short and then it just kept going. This is the goal here. Three feet and in on long putts is almost a guaranteed par. I did not wanna say that before I made the putt. I really wanna say thank you to all my subscribers and followers across all platforms because you guys are really helping me get my mission across and spreading golf to a bunch of different levels. Opening the game to different categories of people, different interests of people. Like for example, and I'm gonna keep this quick, but my little brother, hates golf probably more than anything but when he saw good good he came out to play golf he came out to play golf when he saw good good so i think youtube's a great way to just span the categories of different types of people who may have never been into golf but because of youtube now they're picking up a golf club so that's exactly what i want to do and you guys are really helping me so thank you on this journey the more people we could get on this the more people it reaches so this is how i play a par four over water 360 yards dog leg right so like share subscribe to the channel thanks again for watching see you guys next time